Hey, what's happening everybody? It's Dwayne with Off Grid. I'm going to talk to you guys about internet. Um, I get asked this a lot and I'm not talking off my phone. I'm talking uh, an actual hotspot um, because I am very rural, so I don't have any services out here. I don't have electricity that comes out here. I don't have cable or any of that stuff. And this is something you're going to run into if you're doing what I'm doing. So I'm just going to tell you guys, I'm going to preface this by saying, I don't necessarily recommend or not recommend these guys. This is just what I use. I uh, say it nicely. I'm not a fan of these corporations, so I don't really want to recommend them either way. But I will say that mine has worked and it works for my needs and it's worked fine. So I'm just going to tell you what I have. I'm going to break down the cost for you and then I'll tell you the reasons why uh, we did this uh, instead of doing something else. So First thing I'm going to start off by showing you guys is the actual device itself. So you can see I'm holding it in my hand right now. Um, I click it on right there. And there it is, all right? It's that simple. It's just this tiny little device. Now, I bought this device on Amazon. I want to say it was $110. I'm going to pop it up on the screen right here. Okay. So first thing you do, this is AT&T service, by the way. So... AT&T has a prepaid internet plan, all right? They're the only ones that I have found that have it. And basically, this prepaid internet plan, I'm going to pop that up right now, the screen, and what your options are, okay? So those are the three options. There's actually another one that's 100 gigs for 90 a month. But it's a, it's a limited internet plan, so we have a 50 gig plan, okay? So... I can use up to 50 gigs of high-speed internet and pay $55 for it. So not a bad deal, right? I mean, considering it just depends on what your needs are. So what you do is you get this device, all right? This specific device, it's called the ZTE Velocity. Um, so I'll put the information up here. Uh, so like I said, it was about $110. Now you're going to get this device. But you're going to have to get a SIM card for it. And this is the thing that kind of held me up uh, about a week. And this was super frustrating. This is why I won't recommend or not recommend companies. Because to be honest, the customer service with these companies is practically non-existent. But I don't think I'm saying anything new. It's like that with every company anymore. So if you want to have customer service, you let me know what, who has good customer service. Because I have yet to find one. So... Basically, when I got the device, I figured I would just call or contact AT&T, right? And I could get online and maybe just get them to send me the SIM card because I knew I had to get a SIM card. Uh, so it turned out in order to get a SIM card, I had to go to an AT&T store to do it. However, I live over an hour away from AT&T. So I said, you know what? I don't want to do that. So what are my options? So all I did was did a Google search for AT&T SIM card and voila, Wally World had it. Um, now Walmart, they have it in certain locations. That's another thing that's interesting. So you need to check the location before you drive over to Walmart to get this thing. So I drove to Walmart, uh, $10 for the card. That's it. It's not that expensive. So tack that on to the price of the thing. Now, once you get your SIM card, you insert it into the device. The device comes with a set of instructions that'll tell you what to do, uh, how to use an IP address, go on and change the settings of the modem itself. Um, so then what you do is you're going to go to AT&T's prepaid site. Um, so you go AT&T prepaid, like new, new member or set up an account. And what you're going to do is you're going to go through their information gathering process where you're just going to put your information in. You're going to select the plan you want, which, you know, for us, we selected the plan we wanted. Then you're going to pay for it via credit card. So they take, um, you know, American Express. Uh, they take just about any card you can think of. So you can also do uh, where they do a bank draft and a money, a monthly thing, which I'm not doing because that kind of defeats the purpose of a prepaid plan with no contract. So you go through there online, you set it up, don't bother calling, you're going to waste your time. Just go to their website, their prepaid website, sign it up, set it up, make sure you save all your passwords, and then set a reminder on your phone. And the beauty is if I'm out of town next month, uh, you know, I can lower my internet needs, like I can pick one of the other plans that I, you know, so I don't 
pick the high plan if I don't need it, or if I know I'm going to use a ton of internet, I could bump it up to the $100 or the $90 a month one and get the 100 gig. Now, for me and my wife, that's enough for us. Uh, but if you have a family, multiple kids that are on the internet doing any kind of online gaming, number one, the latency on this is kind of, it was kind of high, I noticed. So if you, if lagging is an issue for video games and you're into that kind of stuff, then, uh, you know, this may not be the best plan for you. Um, however, if you're watching Netflix, if you're doing Zoom calls, if you're doing just normal cruising the internet, watching YouTube, this works just fine. It works. It works great. It really does. So I get a decent signal out here. Um, and that's something else you're going to have to check. Does AT&T get a good signal where you're at? Now, one thing that you can do to go around that is you can get yourself a cell booster. I have one of those. So that cell booster will boost my bars from like one bar to all bars. So the cell booster works well. Um, this is a 4G, so that's another thing that I would consider a con. If you need like 5G internet then uh, or 5G service, this is not a good device for that. So, But overall, I think for the cost of the unit, and the, the service, I think it's it's worth looking into for you. So if you want to spread your options out, you got here you go. A guy just gave you another option. Doesn't mean it's the best option. Uh, some people go with Starlink. I'll tell you why I don't like Starlink. Uh, number one, I don't like paying five hundred dollars for my stupid uh, hardware. Okay, I think uh, I, that sucks. Number two, hundred twenty dollars a month where I'm at. Number three, when they first set it up out here, they wanted you to pay up front and then go on a waiting list. People were on a waiting list for months for this. And I was like, no, I'm not just giving you guys my money so you can hold it, do whatever you want with it. So I, I just didn't like how they did business. So for me, that was like a no for me. Um, another one is T-Mobile. They have an internet plan, but the weirdest thing, I have T-Mobile service, right? But they do not do internet where I'm at. So I could not use them. Uh, another one was Unlimitedville. They're very expensive, so you can check into them, but they do unlimited internet, but they're they're more expensive than Starlink. So this was the best thing that I found for my area. And, you know, like I told you, do your research, but I just gave you some pros and cons. Um, all right, so I was going to end the video, and I realized I didn't give you some pretty important pieces of information. So uh, here are the download speeds that I picked up, all right? And I ran the numbers for you guys just to give you guys an idea of the speeds that you can expect with this. So you can see the speed is not blazing fast by any means, but it's not low. It's not bad. All right. Really, it isn't. For the amount I'm paying monthly, It's I, I feel like it's pretty comfortable speed. Um, I'll tell you, Starlink, I hear it all over the map. And for some reason, internet is one of those things like... People going out and telling stories about fishing. You know, the fish, uh, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger every time you, you talk to the person. Internet, I found the same thing online. People, man, they love to brag about how fast their internet is. Oh, I get 200 megabytes per second. Um, I have no latency. I have this and that. And, you know, it varies. And I there might be people that get that, but I I. It, it's not really true most of the time. Um, I'm not talking about going on these speed tests and trying to do the test until you get the fastest speed you can get, and then you post that as your fast speed of what you get all the time. Because one thing you'll learn when you're doing these speed tests online is that there's some variables that are going to affect the speed on this, and you will get different readings almost every single time you do it. Okay, So one thing is is where you're, you're hitting your server from. Uh, mine seems to think I'm in Los Angeles, so it'll route me to a Los Angeles server. Now, you can change your server, and you can mess around with these settings, actually. This is something where you might, if you're an IT guy or you know people that know more about computers than me, you can go on there and change where you're, what server you're using. Um, and so, and that will affect your, your speed, depend, depending on the traffic they get and stuff. So, um, that is something you also have to consider with this, okay? Also, there's settings on your modems, on your computers, there's a bunch of stuff online where you can make your internet faster. You know, you can go from uh, 2.4 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz, for example. That's a main one. Uh, so, yeah, these are the speeds that I get. No bragging here. I don't think they're great, but they're not bad. They work fine for Zoom because Zoom is more of your upload speeds are important. So we have that. The latency, eh, not so good, but... Um, 
you know, it hasn't been a real issue for me. I haven't noticed much of it, uh, like I said, but I don't play video games. I don't have time for that stuff. So, um, you know, that seems to be the people that complain about that the most. Um, but anyways, yeah, so for what I got, for the price we're paying, and the fact that it's not a contract, I love it. So, uh, and I didn't have to pay any down payments or anything like that. And I own this device. So when I'm done, if I want to sell the device, I go online and sell it. You know, if if I wanted to. So uh, that to me was worth it. So uh, yeah, that's the internet that I'm using. And I think that's it. So if you have any more questions, let me know.